So were Book and Brad able to practice today? They were. And are they good to go for tomorrow, game time decision? Uh, yeah, we'll see how they respond to today's work, but we're hopeful that they both play. After a hectic summer training camp, getting everybody acclimated, preseason, now the regular season's finally here, just how are you feeling in terms of excitement and also preparation? I uh, feel great on both fronts. You know, we've had a, a really productive couple of days, um, you know, preparing for Golden State, but also a productive month of the preseason, um, you know, installing our offense and our defensive schemes and, you know, drilling the, the heck out of it. Um, you know, I think our guys are probably tired of the drill work, but, you know, we, we've done a lot. And, you know, it's always going to be a work of progress first year and, and um, you know, early in the season when the real games start. But um, yeah, I feel good about where we're at. In terms of layering your defense at this stage that you're currently at, is that kind of the biggest thing? Just getting those reps in? Is it terminology and all of the above? Yeah, I got a I got a pretty deep bag of uh, of tricks, you know, on the defensive side of the ball, and a lot of it's been introduced. Um, but you know, you, you need an 82 game season to to really uh, implement it and you know see all the different uh, execution pieces of it. As fate would have it, uh, your defense will be tested. Somewhat going up against the, yes, it uh, will. Like the, what the Warriors. <laughs> what is it like facing a, a guy like Steph? Uh, will it be uh, defense by committee? Uh, it's not fun. That's okay. what it's like. <laughs> and yes, by committee. Okay. You know, everybody has to know where he is at all times, and um, you know, there's very specific coverages that we have to try to execute that they make it very difficult to execute. You know, and uh, you know their movement. Um, you know, just really challenges all the ways that you want to you want to try to help. Um, where you need to help with him. What kind of things are you and your staff pinpointing as things you want to see when you're going up against the Warriors and the Lakers, just two very capable opponents right away? You know, I think the, the biggest thing for me is the, the effort piece. You know, I mean, we want to be an elite effort team. You know, we have uh, one of the most talented teams in the NBA. And, um, you know, if we're the team that plays harder every night, we're going to win most nights, you know, and, um, you know, and also how, how unselfish we play. You know, we're going to play hard and play together. You guys are in a marquee time slot tomorrow night, and you're going to have several from your time with the Lakers. You know what that's like in a regular season schedule. Do you notice it having any positive effects on the team when you do get that spotlight so often? I was just curious from your perspective in L.A. Yeah, I think uh, you know there's always a little more juice in those games, a little more energy and, and excitement. I mean, uh, you know, this group here, you know, they're excited to, to play anytime. You know, you get a Tuesday uh, Tuesday morning practice. These guys, these guys are excited to play hoop. Um, but I think the national TV games, you know, do bring a little bit of that out. Kevin is someone who has been around that for pretty much his whole career at this point. Book has been for a while now, but for some of the guys who this is newer to, how do you want them to approach it and not just get too caught up in how how many headlining games you guys have? Yeah, not really any different. I mean, our, our approach is is always to be to block out any noise, you know, whether that's uh, you know Twitter, you know, the the national media, um, or you know, a different feel of a game like this. You know, it still becomes a, a 48 minute game and you concentrate on the task at hand. Now, on any other team, any one of the big three would be the main attraction, um, the big number one of the big dogs, so to speak. When you talk about the Eagles, it seems though the Eagles have been left at the door in check, have not been brought in. You don't seem to have right now any Eagle problems with any of these guys coalescing and, 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 and becoming a, a unit. Can you talk about that process? these guys so far yeah well you know our three guys are all used to being you know the guy on, on their squad and um, you know I think they've embraced you know this uh, this team that we put together and you know to have others that have that that type of pedigree you know they know that they're gonna make the game easy for each other and they're gonna, gonna give them a greater chance to win which is what they're you know they're all driven by you know winning an NBA title so you know, I think there's an appreciation for uh, for having those guys um, as teammates, and it's been great so far. Coach, what have you learned about uh, Kevin as a defender, and what do you feel like he's going to be able to do in your system? Uh, he works. I love. I love that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I didn't know a lot about him as a defender, other than obviously just competing against him. Um, you know, but his uh, his IQ. You know, when you're talking about game plans and coverages, and um, you know having ideas on certain things, but also, you know, understanding the, the layers of, of what we're trying to do defensively and why we're trying to do it. His appreciation for uh, the nuances of our defense, um, you know, have been great. And his effort has been off the charts, uh, both in practice and in and uh, in the preseason game. So I'm really excited about what he's going to bring to that side of the ball. 
to that point, I understand that KD and, and Anthony Davis are two completely different defensive players, but in your time in LA, you guys ran those two bigs and had AD as sort of a secondary room protector, quite the luxury to say the least. Uh, with Kevin's ability there that he's shown over the years, what can that do for a defense when you have two shot blockers out there? Yeah, size is, is everything, you know, um, not everything, but, but length, you know, your length can, uh, can really be a problem, you know, when you're trying to create a great defense. Um, you got to have speed and containment ability. You know, but um, you know, you got to be able to protect the rim. You got to be able to board. You know, and and Kev's size, get, you know, helps us with both of those. Coach, uh, the roster deadline just passed. Uh, can you inform us of what moves that you guys made? Um, did we announce it formally, Cole? Yeah, it's official. Yeah, we yeah we uh, we let go of Ke Keon Johnson. We waived Keon. Um, disappointed to do that because I actually, I think the kids uh, got some real talent. Um, he really showed me something. I threw him in the first half of a of a dress rehearsal type of preseason game because I really believe in his defensive ability, um, you know. And then he he showed it showed me something offensively as well. But you know, he has incredible speed and athleticism on the defensive side of the ball, and you know, I hope to be able to coach him again someday. What, what responsibility are you putting on Book and Brad just guarding opposing guards in the backcourt? And do you see Josh as someone that can kind of take pressure off of them and maybe save them for you know other things you need them for? Yeah, I mean, they, those guys are going to have to to guard. You know what I mean? And and they're up to the challenge. They they want it. They're excited about it. Um, you know, they'll be matched up with uh, you know opposing teams' best players on on a lot of nights. And um, you know, that's how we're 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 going to be built. You know, and they're going to have problems on the other end as well. Uh, the other team will. But Josh's ability to and to me really guard one through four at an elite level. Um, you know, really separate separates him from a, a lot of players in this league. He can really, really dog point guards, and he can also bang with with bigger wings as well. So, a lot of versatility there. How's the uh, how's the back feeling? Oh, it's better. It's better. Uh, a little tweak last week, but uh, definitely trending right and feeling better. I was able to practice uh, last two days, so it's been good. Hope so. That's definitely my goal. So. I definitely want to be out there with the guys, but definitely play smart and see how I feel tomorrow. After the busy summer for you, moving, coming to a new team, new environment, just how excited are you for the regular season? It's, it's crazy. It's kind of like I didn't, I barely slept last night. Like I was excited just to get on the plane today and get going and be in practice. But you know, it's it's here. You know, I'm definitely super excited. My family is too. But it's just an awesome opportunity to just you know just seize the moment and just embrace it all and. And uh, just get ready for an awesome year. Yeah. I'm not asking to give up any sort of defensive schemes that you guys are uh -huh. <laughs> facing against a guy like Steph. How do you face a guy like that? It's a continuous movement. It's the picks. It's the nonstop uh, barrage of threes. Uh, yeah. Penetration. It's a tough task. I would say. One hundred percent. I mean, you just hit it. I mean, you just, you got one for us. Yeah. You just you named everything we got to guard. <laughs> Uh, no, but it, honestly, man, it's, it is very tough because as much as you respect Steph and what he's able to do, the other guys on the floor are just as lethal and they, they are able to uh, make a lot of plays on the floor and make life easy for him. So everybody has to be on their toes. Everybody has to be alert. Everybody has to be alert, ready to guard everybody, essentially. So uh, we definitely have our principles. We have some stuff that we're going to mix in. We probably won't probably show too much or tell too much, but... Uh, for the most part, we're definitely going to be aggressive. You know, we have to be aggressive with him. You know, he's the best shooter all the time. So we, we have to respect him every time he, he enters the arena. And, you know, Clay's coming back full health, stronger. Wiggins shoots it well. Um, you know, they have a really well put together team, you know, and CP over there too, so he can shoot it. So we got to respect everybody. It's not just going to be one man, you know, focus on Steph. You know, everybody is going to be a collective effort. Everyone across the league has gotten to know how those Warriors teams play over the years and, and how they want to. How do you think Chris fits into the style that they have and what he brings to them? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I've been in the East my whole career. I've only played the Warriors once or twice a year. I didn't. I didn't really get much of that that interaction or paid attention to, to what Golden State did. Obviously, it's a copycat league. Everybody tries to do what they do. To me, I think it's physically impossible. I mean, they have two of the best shooters to ever play the game, and then they had KD at one point. I mean, it's very much unfair. So, uh, 
you know, I think it's a totally different dynamic now, but we still, obviously, you know, you still have Hall of Famers over there we have to respect. How are you and Book embracing the defensive challenges that are co going to come for you guys with uh, how many elite matchups there are across the league? I mean, it starts with practice with us, man. We do it in practice every single day. And I think that's just the accountability Book speaks on and we all speak on all the time of just, you know, it's going to start with us to be able to set that tone. You know, we obviously we will probably give J.O. a lot of that responsibility and guarding the first guy, the biggest matchup of the night that he very well loves to take. Uh, but Book and I, we're right there. We have to be the next guys up to guard and defend. And, and Kay's even up for the challenge. So I think that's what I love about us, man. We're, we're, we know that we have to sacrifice a little bit more just to, to out give a little bit more output on that defensive end. Right. What's it going to be like for you going through a full season with, with teammates like KD and Book? And does that take any pressure off of you? Do you feel more comfortable that you can kind of settle in and do what you want to do? Um, I mean, pressure is always a crazy word, uh, you know, because it's – that's always like an expectation or other people's, you know, opinion. And you know, we have what we have our goals. We know what we, we want to do, and obviously everybody has their opinion of us as well, as well. But we're just here to have fun, man, and compete at the highest level and try to win a championship. You know, that's all we want to do. And we understand it starts with us, and you know, we have to make sure that we're available. But I'm beyond excited that I get to share a floor with these two guys. You know, this whole entire year. So it's I'm looking forward to it. Have you guys kind of talked as a team? You know, what it's going to be like to kind of face Chris uh, tomorrow or have you talked to Chris? Not at all. I mean, I wasn't here last year, so I can't, I don't know. I don't, I'm, <laughs> it's new. Everything was new, you know, like the DA situation, Chris being, like everything was new to me. So I just kind of came in and just was open-minded, embraced every, every situation. And uh, I don't really have an opinion on anything. I know Chris is an unbelievable point guard. One of the best to ever touched the ball, and uh, I know he'll probably it'll probably be a little bit emotional for him, maybe for some guys that were here that shared that that stage with him for a long time here. But uh, I know he's a competitor; he's going to try to win. So we're going to do the same. That's Kent's first game in front of Warriors fans since 2019. Oh, wow. What do you remember about facing that version of the Warriors with him on? Man, mm. it's tough, man. You want to talk about tough to guard? <laughs> Uh, it was very difficult, you know, but they were just, they, you know, they were just collected, man. You could just see they play with joy, play with energy. Uh, the ball was always popping, and even defensively they were flying around. You could see Steph and, you know, obviously Clay taking those challenges, but Kay using his length, you know, getting rebounds, starting to break. Uh, you know, those, those teams were very electric, you know, nightmare teams. So we try to leave them, leave them in the past. I know, it's a, I know it's a big game for you tomorrow, and you got that on your mind first and foremost, but do you have that D.C. date scheduled already or circled already on your calendar? I have no idea when we play D.C. <laughs> I honestly don't. I mean, I know I'll, I'll look forward to it. My family are probably just a little bit more excited about it than I am, but uh, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't circled it, no. I'm, I'm locked in a game at a time and, and just want to enjoy every single game, enjoy every moment. What, what are your expectations for Yusuf and your guys' system this year? Man, he can be... He can be a player for us, and man, his, his versatility, his ability to pass, I think is very underrated. And uh, he's a beyond physical big in the paint. You know, he loves his presence down there. He gets a lot of offensive rebounds, tips, and uh, he's he's perfect, man. He's a great DHO player. Uh, and Nurk just has a great feel for the game. You know, he just makes us guards, our life a lot easy, you know, easier. So I'm definitely happy we have him. And, uh, we're going to need them throughout the whole year, and we're going to use them, utilize them in that way as well. How comfortable are you in the season? Beyond comfortable. I'm sorry? You said how comfortable am I? Super comfortable. Yeah, I love Earlier, it. Obviously, you guys have a lot of newcomers, but you have a lot of veterans on this team as well. So how much does that help going into the year to have so much veterans? Uh, I think that's, the, that's one of the biggest uh, – testaments to our team and kind of positives, you know, just being able to have that vet presence and that's a testament to James and, you know, and, and Josh and putting the team together. You know, we have really good character guys, guys who know the game, who've played it for a little, long, few years and, uh, you know, we know what to do when we come in to work every single day. It's not a lot of breakdown teaching, not a lot of developing. It's kind of like hit and run and we're grasping the information very quickly and we're putting it into practice. So it's, it's, it's been a really good flow, and that's always good when you got vets who are able to buy in and lock in uh, to a system. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Thanks, Brad. You guys are great. Thank you. I'm the regular season almost here. How are you feeling heading into tonight? Yeah, very excited. You know, I have playing. It's my 16th year. First games never get old. Uh, very excited. We I know the kind of team we have, but, uh, you know, uh, 
you know, along the way, you know, as you're going into the season, you just want to get better as long as, long as the season goes. And, uh, you know, we just want to win as many games as we can. And uh, we look forward to being ready to play tomorrow. You've played the Warriors many times. You've played with Chris Paul for quite a while. Just what dynamic does he bring to the games? Yeah, I mean, he, he's going to bring probably a different type of game. You know, he's an organizer. And, uh, and of course, he's going to say they play fast. So it's definitely interesting to see how he plays with them. But, you know, a great player is a great player. He's going to always figure out a way to uh, figure out what he's going to do with this team. And uh, But, you know, the Warriors are a good team. They they have that staple. They are who they are. And uh, we know we're playing a really good team tomorrow. You guys are a fairly new group compared to everyone else in the conference. What are those, some of the things that you've learned over the years that you focus on in the first couple of weeks to build that up? Yeah, you know, we know that we have a lot of great talent, and as long as the year progresses, chemistry should be getting better and better. That's why I think we should just continue flowing in the right direction as, as the season goes along. And uh, But, you know, we're looking forward to tomorrow, and we know we're playing against a good team, and, uh, and uh, you know, we know we're a talented team, so we're looking to have a fun game tomorrow. You've been in the league for 16 years. How has your approach, approach to training camp changed uh, physically, mentally? Uh, knowing that your body is changing, knowing that uh, things aren't maybe what they used to be. Yeah, you know, as you get older, things, you know, your body's different. You know, you gotta, um, you, you almost feel like you have to work out more as you be more active as you get older, but. Uh, you know, that's why it's good to be on a really good veteran team where, you know, you have a good coaching staff that understands and uh, and you got a, you know, this team full of veterans where we're all, you know, coming to work every day, trying to work on our bodies and try to prepare for every game uh, to try to win. It's Kevin's first game back in front of Warriors fans in four years. What do you remember about facing those particular Warriors team? Yeah, I remember when I was on the Rockets, we faced them every year uh, in the playoffs, and uh, uh, he did well there. You know, he did what they what, what was needed. They won a couple championships, and uh, um, so you know, I'm pretty sure he's loved there. And uh, it's going to be exciting for him and and for the fans there. And uh, should be like I said, it's going to be a great game tomorrow. What is that experience like as a player when you play in front of a former team and their fans for the first time? Oh, you know. Well, it's, it's meaningful for him, for him because, you know, he hasn't played there in a while and uh, he hasn't played against him in a while, so, and he's done well there. And uh, now uh, it's probably even more exciting to, to go against him. And, and, you know, I'm pretty, he wants to propel, you know, the Suns organization and our team to, you know, try to do something special. Defensively speaking, what is it like facing a guy like Steph? Constantly moving like a shark, never stopping uh, 24-7. Well, yeah, it's always difficult because, uh, it ain't just the movement. He comes off so many screens, you know, uh, with with the ball and without the ball. So that's what makes him really, really dangerous. And, uh, you know, we know he moves. He's the engine of the, of the team. So, um, you know, we, we're going to got to be right up on him and you got to try to be physical. And and, uh, and on the other end, we got, we got to score the ball. You know, we have to do that. Bouncing off of that, so uh, Warriors, you know, kind of have true point guards right now. No, you know, with with us, it's all about you know having our primary ball handlers make the right play at all times. Uh, you know, it's, to me, it's no different than uh, the Warriors because they got guys who who bring it down. You know, whether it's Steph, whether it's Draymond, they have different guys that bring it down, and they all try to make the the best the best and right play, uh, uh, whatever the opportunity comes. Mm -hmm. 